As a logbook admin, when using the mobile app, you'll have access to all to view those logbook entries here. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And then here you can see on the menu we have our logbook and it shows with two icons. When I select the logbook it'll take me in here where I'm able to see each of the posts. You'll notice with each post you have a read receipt with the little eye icon. You'll have a flag or a checkbox if the item has been flagged and if it's not yet resolved or once it's been resolved. So if we click on David's post here for example, he's asking to get a new name tag there's a response, I'll get you one, and then it's been marked as resolved. So you can see each of those steps, who's completed it, along with the date and time stamp. Now you can see here at the top we have a comment by Diana Smith. It's grayed out, meaning we have not yet read that information. When I click on that, it'll pull up, and I'm now able to see the post. I can see the read receipt has changed. Now I have one read receipt, so I'm able to see who has read it with the date and time stamp. And then I can click on the photo as well and expand and see the details. If I'd like to add an additional photo or add any comments, then I can do so by just entering in the comment here. I'm just going to go ahead and let her know thank you. And then post that. And then here you can see my name's displayed with a date and timestamp as well. And then if I was to log in as Diana, She is not a device admin, so you can see I'm only able to see that one post, but I'm able to see the comment made by the logbook admin. So it is one-way information, but they're still able to see the communication back and forth. They just can't see what's going on laterally or above. Okay, let's go ahead and log back in. And then from here, if I need to add a new post, I would just click on this plus button down at the bottom. I could add in my entry. If I wanted to, I could flag that item, meaning actions required. And then you would see it would change my little image here on the logbook menu that it's now three items that need resolution instead of two. But I can go ahead and resolve that and you'll see now it's changed back to two. While in the logbook, you have a couple options when you're looking to review the information. You have a filter option where you can select either a specific date range or choose one of the predefined ones available. And then the advanced section we can filter by those that are flagged or resolved, if it's been read or unread, or I can see all flag status and all read status. Go ahead and apply that. There's a search option where I can search for any word within the text of the messages or the posts. So here, let's go ahead and look for oven, for example. Now it's going to filter and show me this one post relating to an oven. So the switches are beginning to stick, it needs to be deep cleaned. Once that's been resolved, or if I've assigned it, or it's been taken care of, I can let Sally know we're good to go. At the top of this entry, you can see it's actually been attached to a checklist. It's the daily opening list, and it's pertaining to the item of turning on the equipment. And it has the date and time of when the list displayed. Within your checklists, to create a logbook entry, you can go into any one of your checklists and you'll see the three dots to the right of each item here. You can go ahead and select those three dots and then it'll open up the ability for you to create a logbook entry. This is where you can add in your comment. If you clicked on the first image, it's going to allow you to record a video. If you select on that camera photo, it's going to prompt you to take a picture. And then your flag or your post. And then if I want to, I could cancel out.